In this how-to video you will learn how to build, manage, and track your assets on blockchain with OmniBasis without writing a single line of code. OmniChain is a blockchain as a service solution that enables businesses and professionals, large and small, to launch a full-featured blockchain application. In minutes you can define and track your assets on the blockchain and use built-in user interface to transact. OmniBasis has all your need to build and run blockchain applications across multiple industries and connected devices without any development needed and no monthly fees. In this example, we will show you how you can track and manage a dolphin population registry powered by blockchain. Now let us get started with this video tutorial. The first step is to define assets that you want to track on blockchain. An asset can represent any physical or digital object. It can be a physical object, like a car or a house. Or it can be a digital object, like a customer order or an air mile. An asset can have one or multiple owners, but it can also be its own owner. An asset always contains data that is immutable. In our example, the registration record of a dolphin is immutable data. In our case, we will track dolphin birth records and link them to parents. Navigate to OmniChain, Blockchain Setup, Assets Definition. Select Create from Action menu at the top right corner to create new asset definition. In our case, we will edit an existing asset definition we already created for this tutorial. Next to the asset name, select Option drop down and choose Edit to edit an existing asset definition. Navigate to Info section. 1. Give asset class A name. 2. Choose the way you're going to collect the data via form or wizard. 3. Give an optional description. 4. If you want cross reference assets with asset linking, select Enable Parent and Child Records Linking. We need to choose it in order to link parents to a child. 5. To enable linking across different asset classes, select Enable Parent and Child Records linking across different types and definitions. 6. Use labels to help you to tag the asset's definition. 7. If you want to reuse this definition in the future, select Mark as a template. Next, navigate to Design section to define your asset form. Are easy to use form building where you can define what information do you want to collect about the asset. It is based on WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, interface and allows completely customize all data fields. Once you complete with asset design, navigate to preview section to see what the forms looks like when it will be used to submit or edit an asset. Next, navigate to permission section to configure and secure access to your asset. You can restrict access with the password or with user permission role. 1. With password, visitors will be asked to enter this password in order to view and submit this asset. 2. With permission role set, visitors will need to sign up or sign in to view and submit this asset and be a member of the selected roles. Select the roles required with a toggle. 3. Configure form data security options which allows users to create, update, delete, or transfer record. We want Dolphin Registry to be open to all users. We turn on Create. 4. If you use form data linking, you can turn on ability of the data owner to navigate across linked records. Select Allow Owner to navigate parent and child record linking. Next, we check out Share section. If you want your customer to share your assets submission with others, you can turn share options. In our example, we want customers share registry page. Next, we will configure blockchain network. Navigate to blockchain section. 1. Select blockchain network if any. If choose no network, default will be used. 2. Select encrypt data if you want to encrypt all submitted data. 3. Choose user will be required to enter paraphrase for blockchain transaction. Turn on this feature to require paraphrase with asset submission and transfer. 4. If you want user to enter the quantity of initial asset, select allow to enter the quantity. In our case, it will always will be 1. Next, we will configure asset workflow. 
Navigate to Workflow section. Decide what happens when your asset is submitted. You can set up notifications via email, SMS, redirect user to a specific page. You can also embed asset submission into any page. Your asset, your users, you decided who you want them to interact with your data on blockchain. Navigate to Workflow section to configure form workflow and what happens after the asset is submitted. 1. You can allow customer anonymously to submit assets. If you want customer to be able to edit and view submission later, select require email address to submit. 2. Select create a customer record with form submission if you want customer email to be used to create a customer record and connected to Omni customer solution. 3. To configure email notifications on a new asset submission, enter a list of emails in notify about new data to this email. 4. To configure SMS or text notifications on a new asset submission, enter a list of phone numbers in notify phone number. 5. To display a message to user after submission, enter messages under display this message after submission. 6. You can redirect user to the specific URL, enter redirect link. 7. You redirect user to the specific page on your site, select page in redirect to this page after submission. 8. If you want to send user a specific message on submission, select that message. 9. If you want to kick off a specific message campaign, select that campaign. 10. To notify user about record transfer ownership, select use email to notify user about a transfer. You can select transfer message or transfer campaign. Assets are integrated with mobile wallet. Navigate to OmniPass section to configure mobile wallet integration. Mobilize your assets. Deliver your assets updates with mobile wallet. Power up your assets information on your customer mobile phone with personalized updates and messages just in time, based on their location, time of day and more. 1. Select wallet pass design to use. 2. Map wallet pass fields with fields on the pass design. Once asset is submitted, customer will be prompted to install Mobile Wallet Pass to keep track with updates. Click Save to save your asset definitions. Click back to navigate a list of asset definitions. Next, we want to connect this form to Dolphin Registry page. Navigate to Omni site, select Navigation. If you do not have page created, click Add Root Page, otherwise edit the page where you want to host your form. We will edit an existing page called Dolphin Registry. Check a name, Dolphin Registry. Navigate to Page Content section. Enter a reason for submission. Next, let's select our asset definition to display on this page. Click Pick and find your definition. Click Save to Update Page. Let us submit a new asset. Select Omnichain Assets. Make sure your asset definition is selected in the drop down at the top left corner. Selection action menu and click submit. Fill in the form fields. Pick parents to link back to new dolphin parents. Click submit. Once the asset is submitted and recorded on the blockchain, you will get the blockchain transaction confirmation. Depending on the workflow you set up, you will be presented with a confirmation message or redirected to the next page. If you did not set up any workflows, you will not see any more dialogues. You can simply click refresh to submit another asset or click back to return to the list of assets. In the next step, we will check our submission records. Here you will see a list of all the records submitted. To view a record, select View from Options menu. 
If you connected records to customers, you can see a customer record by selecting Customer from Options menu. To view transaction history, select Transaction History from Options menu. To view a detailed record on blockchain, click Blockchain Transaction. There are many more options available in making your blockchain application a great success. We will cover them in details in other how-to videos. This concludes how to build, manage, and track your assets on blockchain with Omnibasis. Thank you for watching Omnibasis how-to videos. To keep up to date, subscribe to our channel. If you have more questions visit help.omnibasis.com.